San Diego is now up for the fourth pick, and uh, we await the decision on that. And, Lou, now the fun begins. The first three were uh, almost predictable. Yeah, I think we had them one, two, three. Now it's going to be a question of what the team is looking for, the best pick they can get at this time. But there's so many good players, I don't see how they can go wrong, especially if they've done their homework. Well, with Samson going first to Houston, Stepanovich going second to Indiana, and Rodney McRae going third to Houston, this is the first time in three years that none of the first three picks are undergraduates. Well, they all went the, the last couple of years. <laughs> they all flew to Coop. So I think now, you know, they finally got down to the seniors. And don't forget, you would have had two more. You would have had Bowie, and you would have had the other big fella, too, from out in Kentucky. Commissioner O'Brien is ready to San tell Diego. us the news. San Diego Clipper. selected in this 1983 NBA draft. The first team all Pac-10 out of Arizona State at 6'4 and a half, 185 pounds from Englewood, California, and some say the best guard in the crop this year. Player. Slick, can hit the jumper, can make the play uh, off the break, and also can give you a little point guard, which is so important for a second guard to be able to handle that ball when they double team your point guard. Well, last year, Scott switched from the off guard to the, the point position and was tutored by assistant coaches Doug Collins and Henry Bibby, so no doubt he knows what to expect. Working his way into the NBA, Byron Scott, the newest member of the San Diego Clippers. They won today. In the ninth. In the ninth. Sudden yeah. death. Would you all join me in a chorus of uh, <laughs> Padres, Padres, Padres? Anybody watching from Los Angeles might wonder if this guy does any part-time Padre play-by-play. -play. <laughs> hey, look, I lost the Aztecs, I lost the Clippers, I gotta hang on to something, right? The uh, final is 7-6 in the ninth. This is in the first, when the Dodgers threatened early and Sixto Sixto just had a great day with five RBIs and this throw, relay, Kennedy makes the tag, Thomas is gone, still a scoreless ball game. Bottom of the first, Kennedy, who is going to Chicago, by the way, for the All-Star game, to Greg Brock. Oh, the Dodger defense is super, isn't it? One run scores, and then Lascano with a sacrifice fly. Trevecki, by the way, has been named to the All-Star team, as has Terry Kennedy for the National League in Comiskey Park on July 6th. The throw on the sacrifice fly, great slide to get around Yeager by Wiggins to score 2-0 San Diego in the second. Then in the third, of all people, Bert Hooten, who was hitting 129, gets the base hit against Whitson, who just didn't have it. Marshall comes on to score. Second run, close play, throw a little bit high. Jaeger scores a 2-2 tie with Hooten at second base. And then Daryl Thomas, the former Padre, good little ball player, gets the base hit 3-2 Los Angeles as Hooten scores. Then the Padres come back in the third. Here's Sixto with two on. Boy, he sat down the other day, and he comes out here today with five RBIs, a three-run homer. That's his fifth of the year. The Padres came back and took a 5-3 lead in the ball game. And then in the fifth inning, Pedro Guerrero in the top of the fifth. He's going to the All-Star game, too, by the way, and the Padres are going to put him in Cooperstown on the Hall of Fame. Walk a little slower, Pedro. One of the all-time. Talk about, they think Bonilla's a hot dog. Take a look at Guerrero. Sixto comes right back with another base hit. The Padres in the seventh get a run. That's in the fifth to go up ahead 6-5. And then in the seventh, Thomas again over Templeton, got the base hit, and the Dodgers are tying him up at 6-6 six, six. as the run comes out of score. That's Steve Saxon. And here in the ninth, Salazar, after Benilla got on with the base hit, Benilla's at first. Salazar gets himself a double. The ball gets between them. Thomas, a great play to get up with it. Guerrero bumps into Benilla, and Benilla with a great hook slide to get past Jaeger. 7-6, Montefusco, who went three-plus innings, gets the win. Steve Howe, who made an appearance last night, comes on and is the loser for Los Angeles, 7-6. The Padres are again within eight and a half games. They took two out of three here. They swept them last week in Dodger Stadium. 7-6 final score. Wasn't giving that expensive detergent in these times? Expensive? 
Not fresh start. Come on, Beth. That small bottle costs about the same as this big box of detergent. Sure, but I get the same number of wash loads because fresh start's concentrated. You only need a quarter cup. But how well can a quarter cup work? Better than your detergent, fresh start's got an extra whitener, extra brightener, and stain fighters your big box doesn't have. You know, I just had a great idea. I think your idea is a lot of value. Fresh start. Just a little detergent gets you a lot of clean. <laughs> When you drive during the holidays, we at Sparklets Drinking Water would like to remind you of one thing. A car is not a toy. Most new Stater Brothers customers don't bother with a shopping cart. They just come in for our Thank famous you. meat. Come back, but on their way to the checkout, they notice something. Our low prices on produce. Dairy. And everything else. So the first time you come to Stater Brothers just for the meat, be sure to use a shopping cart. Because when you see how much you can save, you're going to need it. Just came in for one thing. <laughs> Stater Brothers, where our low prices are as famous as our meat. that won't go to your waste. You're traveling through the video zone, a new dimension in sight and sound that lies somewhere between wholesale and retail. This is the dimension of Video Depot, who will meet or beat any advertised price. Submitted for your approval, a complete video emporium. The finest name brand video equipment at the lowest possible prices. And a complete selection of movie rentals, all at one low price. Enter a new dimension in video savings. Come to Video Depot, your one-stop video zone. It's kind of a shame to slow them down by taking an all-star break. You know, that a lot of times that happens when people say, gosh, they just got going. They've Don't... been hot. Can we get choose up sides and have a couple of games during the week? No. <laughs> no, my Padres, I've been with them through thin and thin all season long. I love them win or tie, and they're winning. Lots. The Giants are going bye-bye. The Padres beat them tonight, 4-3. Here is Tony Gwynn in the second inning. Scoreless ball game started out. Kuko against Thurman, and Thurman got the win. Tony to second, went to third on a strikeout and a dropped uh, third strike, and then comes here on the sacrifice fly, comes on to score 1-0 Padres. Look at this. Legs Garvey, the Garve, <laughs> with a stolen base. He will come on to score here in the third inning. And there is uh, Steve coming on to score. Do nothing. And a Joe Youngblood. This guy's had a good season. This thing, nobody thought was going to leave, did. Home run, his first of two on the day. And then the Padres here in the seventh inning will get themselves a couple of insurance runs as they now lead the ball game 2-1. Sacrifice five by Sixto. Coming up here. Base hit, actually, didn't mean sacrifice fly. Sixto had another good day if he comes out and hits after the All-Star break and get Temple and healthy, and I can go on and on and on, but you get the idea. They could make a solid run here, seven and a half back. Youngblood comes back here with another home run to make it 4-3, and then in the same inning, top of the eighth, base is loaded. Lucas on a relief and gets the big double play, and the Padres are out of the inning, and the Giants are out of the game, in essence. They go to the ninth, and Lucas does the job again. Here is Darrell Evans on the ground ball. Nice play by Templeton. Final out, Lucas's ninth save. Thurman got his second start and second win, and the Padres defeat San Francisco four to three. Look at that. Houston beat Los Angeles. Jose Cruz hit another home run. Third day in a row, he did it in the eighth, and he was the difference as Houston beat the Dodgers, so the uh, Atlanta Braves. Winners here, nine five go into the All-Star break as the number one team by a game in the National League West.